guys, Tori Ann Perky here. From my homeschool to your homeschool, let's talk about how to spice up learning science and the periodic table. I don't know about you, but my memory of learning the periodic table was sitting in chemistry class and having to memorize all of the elements and where they were located. I really don't remember much else about the periodic table and my learning. And I'm guessing that unless you went into a field where you needed that information, you don't remember much either. I didn't want that for my kids. I wanted them to love the idea that the periodic table was these Lego-like building blocks that all came together to create the world that they lived in. I wanted them to appreciate the wonder that was the periodic table, which is why when I found this book, I was really excited. And maybe you've heard of it. It's called The Elements by Theodore Gray. And this book is a pictorial wonder of the periodic table. What this man did is he went through and he collected examples of every element in the periodic table. And if he gets up into the elements that are no longer, you can't photograph them, he still came up with ways to show them and then to give examples of them. And I want to show you, this, this book is a visual feast. So for example, every spread is one element. You see that? Whee! And this is nitrogen, for example. And here's his big picture on the side for nitrogen. And then over here, this is what I love. There's a story that gives you some context for nitrogen or maybe some history or some cool tidbits and exciting things about nitrogen. And then he's given pictures of different types of things that have nitrogen in them. And then over here, you have all of the basic scientific facts where it shows up on the periodic table, things like atomic weight, density, uh, the crystal structure, because they're all different, and, and other th so how it fits on the spectrum. Well, this says electron filling order, states of matter. Honestly, I don't know everything about science, so some of this stuff doesn't make as much sense to me as it might to a scientist. But I love when we look at this book that we can go look that stuff up if my kids have questions, and they love reading all about this. So if I look at this book, every single page, I mean, here's rubidium. Who knows about rubidium? And yet there are things here the pictures that tell me why I should care. Why should I care about copper? Well, here's a beautiful picture about copper. And then here are, you know, solid copper. And this hand-hammered pure copper ball is purely decorative. But I love reading. He has a really great sense of humor as well. And so as I'm reading through, I love just the story he tells about all of the elements. So we love this book. We love to look at it. We love to read it. And we use it as a way to use uh, go down rabbit holes about different elements. If you fall in love with this book, then I have to let you know about its companion cards. And when I first got the cards, I didn't know whether or not we were going to use them a whole lot. Sometimes you do that as a homeschooler. I was really excited to see what my kids did with them. So the cards come in a box. Sorry. The cards come in a box like this. And they're exactly the size that fit inside. And there's a whole stack of them. Let me show you what the stack looks like. There's a lot of cards. And each card has the visual representation, like the big picture spread in the book. And I actually like the cards better because on the back they have all of the basic information about this element on the periodic table. So it does everything from atomic weight to melting point, boiling point. Uh, it talks about where it shows up on the on the electron fill filling. The It has this. So it has all of these details. It has its periodic number, uh, its weight, all that stuff. Because there's a card for each element, my kids build the periodic table on our floor. They build out the whole entire periodic table. And then we can talk about how the noble gases all go down one side and they can see it's because the noble gases all have this sort of neon uh, bar shape because that's where we see the noble gases inside the neon, the tubes. So they can see the noble gases and they can see the, the other side. They can see all of those things. So I, if you love the book and you love the idea of this visual representation, then I think you should consider getting the cards as well because the two together ended up being this really great companion between as they talk to each other. And I 
love it. I love the fact that my kids know more about the periodic table and its story and it has personality than I ever did growing up. And that's what I want. I want my kids to fall in love with all of the different subjects and why they fit into this wondrous world. And these books are some of the ways that we do that in our science. I'm Tori Ann Perky and I make these videos every week so that you can have a super successful and confident homeschool.